Hey there, um, I'm going to try and show you a very quick video on how to get up and running with this awesome Laravel admin package that I came across the other day. That is my 11 month old daughter. I do apologize for the squeals in the background that you might hear through this video. My microphone is quite strong, so there's not much I can do really. I just want to make this video. When I found this package, I really wanted to know a bit more about it but I couldn't quite work out without installing it and playing around with it. So I wanted to make this video so that you might be able to see what it does so you can decide if it will be useful for your project or not. Um, this is the GitHub page for the package and as I say, we'll install it and then I'll show you how to quickly set up a CRUD screen to administer the Laravel users model that comes with all Laravel uh, fresh installations. So um, I've got a blank Laravel install here, 6.0. The cool thing is about this package, you can um, add it to an existing project from Laravel 5.5 and up, and it will work. It won't interfere with your structure of your project. So three commands we need to install. Um, number one, obviously, Composer require the package. So let's do that now. Okay, that has now completed. So next step is to publish the assets of the package. Okay, so one thing this does is sets up a config file in our packet in our project. So let's have a quick look at that now. Here it is, admin.php config file. Uh, it's cool. There's quite a good amount of um, options here. I want to just point out now that um, it defines, we can define a custom guard that will let, uh, that will define what users can log into the admin interface. So don't worry, your standard users table um, won't have access unless you define it in here. Uh, so back to the GitHub page, um, last command is to install the assets, uh, sorry, install the project, the, the package, um, which runs through various installations it needs to do. And um, that is done. So uh, looking into the database of the, pro of the, of the site, um, we've got these new uh, tables that come with the package. One of them is the uh, users, admin users model that I mentioned, um, and it comes with a seeded user called admin with the password of admin. Awesome, that is now installed. We can navigate to our website forward slash admin in the browser and we should see a login screen. So this is the test Laravel app that I am using. Forward slash admin, boom, we have a login screen. So that's good news. Uh, let's try logging in with the admin admin credentials and there we go we're in so this is the back end so th this is the dashboard which is quite cool it's got three useful boxes um, an environments information about the setup of the site uh, uh, and the server some extensions that are available for this package so there's quite a few you can see here there's more on the github page and also our project dependencies are listed down here too. Um, very quickly as well, there are there's a pre-built users, roles, permissions, and menu screens um, that come within this admin package. So that's it. We've installed it. So now let's do the second part of this video, which is just to set up within the admin panel a screen that will let us see uh, the users and um, create and edit and delete them um, from our users model. So the uh, package has got some cool documentation and there's actually this is all in the quick start of this package but I will, I will talk it through now. So the first thing we need to do is run a command which will create a controller within the admin namespace 
which you'll see in a second, um, and we define what model we are creating that controller for. So um, that's copied and pasted, and you can see app backslash user is the model that we are using at the moment. Um, so it tells us it's created the controller successfully. So let's just have a quick look at that. So in the app folder of our Laravel app, there's a now an admin folder with um, a controllers subfolder. And we can see here the user controller that it's just created. Um, and we'll look at that in a bit more detail shortly to see what it does. Part of this command, it's told us we want to add the following root to the root file within the admin folder. So I've just copied that and I'll put that in the roots file. This roots file is all of the roots that are relevant for the admin panel. And as you can see, it's setting up a resource with the name of users um, to set up all the URLs that we need. So now that is in there. Let's test navigating to this URL in the admin panel and it's loaded with this empty table with some familiar fields that you might recognize as being the fields that exist within the ad within the user model of um, the standard Laravel install. Um, so let's get it into the menu of our admin panel. So there's this menu uh, edit screen lets us do that. So we call it users and we can define, we can set a font awesome icon for this, which is pretty neat. I think there's a users icon there and enter the URI um, forward slash users. We can also define some roles and permissions if we want to submit that and it's set up this user's uh, entity. So now if I refresh, <coughs> excuse me, the admin panel, here we go. Here is our user's um, menu item. Oh, and we can, we can move it around probably. There you go. Put it up there. <coughs> oh, interesting. It didn't move it. Don't worry about it. I mean, Maybe I, oh, I didn't save it, that's why. Save. Ha ha, it works. So um, back to this users table. Let's test it out. Let's add a user. Um, quickly show you the database. At the moment, the users table model is empty. Um, so let's create one. So as you can see, we've got a form here already that has been created by the package when we ran that controller create command. And it looks at the model and it sees what field types you've got. And it basically puts together a form for you um, for those fields. Well, I'll show you how we modify that in a second. But um, for now, let's just test this with a quick dummy user and submit and there we go it's inserted it into the database which check we can see it there um, and we're seeing it in the admin table how neat is that and obviously we can edit this uh, row as well um, as you'd expect so uh, I'll quickly show you how we can uh, maybe modify the fee, the form or and the table. So this controller that, that was set up in the um, with our command, it's got three methods in it, grid, detail, and form. Uh, the grid method is where we define all the columns that we're gonna show in the main table of the um, user's admin page. The detail method down here is what we define as all the fields that we want to show when when uh, when the action of show is selected on on a row it will just simply show the uh, the row and then this third method form is 
where obviously we define the fields of the form that we're going to be um, processing for uh, the model. So as I say, this was the um, boilerplate that it set up for us. But let's just change the name field to a text area. So now if I edit this, um, we can see it turns into a text area. In another video, I'll go through a bit more about all the different types of fields that the package has on offer. Um, but it's, it's pretty extensive. Um, so far, I haven't really come across something that has been a pain to do. And if you do have to create a custom field, it's quite easy to extend. Yeah, so for the grid, maybe we don't want to be showing the password field or the updated at column. So comment that out. And if we go back to the users uh, table, you know, obviously they're, they're now gone. So that's kind of a summary installation and user CRUD um, admin capabilities within a couple of minutes. Thank you for listening to this video. Um, if you've got any questions or any feedback, please feel free to mention that in the comments below and do join me for the other videos that I'm going to do um, about this package. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.